In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Friday water rent. Okay, let's get into this video. All right, so if you were with me on Monday, you know that I did a water rinsing on Monday. I also did a water rinsing on Wednesday, but I did not record it. So I am presenting my Friday water rinsing to you so that you can see exactly what that looks like. All right, so if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, so on with the video. Step one was I rinsed, I water rinsed. Um, again, there was no products on my hair because I water rinsed on Wednesday using this shower filter. This is an Enviro Products by New Wave. This is the shower filter that I've been using for the last two years. Actually, it's going on three years now. I'll leave the, um, the description and all the details in the description box. Okay, let me show you what's in there. They've kind of upped the ante and they added a little uh, aromatherapy diffuser. So I thought that was pretty cute. So there's a little groove in there, a little, well, whatever you call it. And you put your favorite essential oil on the inside of it and then it's got the little magnet that um, keeps it locking in. So it goes on top of the filter that attaches to your shower head and then to the, um, the water source um, pipe. And it looks like that. So you put it on and it's got a little groove there so it'll stop right there and it won't slide down and interfere with your shower time. But I thought that was pretty neat. So you can just put you know, your essential oil in there. So this is attached to the water source pipe and then this is behind your shower head, all right? Now, when it's time to change the filter, because I change my, my uh, filters every year, you know, once a year, you can do it any, anywhere from six to 12 months. So 12 months is usually good enough for me. So it just unscrews like so. And then this is the cartridge. So you only need to replace the cartridge, okay? Um, and it usually runs, when I get it, it's about $15, $16, but again, I'll put that information down in this, the description box. So, and then it just goes in there, you replace it, screw it back on, and then reattach it to the shower head. But yes, that's pretty neat. All right, so that's the 411 on my shower filter. Like I said, I love that product. I've been using that shower filter for um, almost three years now, and it works just fine. fine. So, okay, I've already water rinsed my hair, and, um, it's kind of starting to dry, so and that's okay. Normally what I do is I let it dry and then I use my boar bristle brush and then what um, sebum that's on my scalp is then distributed with the boar bristle brush, but I don't feel like doing that tonight because I'm tired of it. So I've already twisted one of my braids or my twist. So I am going to show you how I get through this and I'm not gonna spend the whole time in this video um, going through and rebraiding my hair. So, but this is what my hair looks like after it's been water rinsed. So I did some scritching and that's one of the things I'm going to share with you. I didn't share it in Monday's video because I just overlooked it. But before I actually step into the shower and rinse it, I do this scritching um, deal just to loosen up the sebum. And then I get into the shower and rinse it. And then it just kind of loosens that, it activates it. And then I feel it after I get out of the shower and I'm like, oh, okay, I feel my sebum. Again, I, my sebum production is low and I'm all right with that. So I know exactly what to do now to distribute it. That's where the boar bristle brush comes into play. And I brush my hair once it's a little drier. This is still too damp to put that brush on because it'll rip the hairs out of my head and we don't want that. I'm trying to preserve hair, right? So in any event, what I'm gonna do tonight, um, just for the sake of time, is show you my backup plan when I don't go through the full method of just, you know, brushing it with the board brush or brush. So I make sure that I kind of finger detangle since it's starting to dry, because usually I, I let it dry, I retwist it and then let it dry. 
so I'm not doing that tonight. So I'm gonna re-wet it, just dampen it just a tab it so I can braid it with my Kangen Beauty water. And it's just a light mist. I don't want to oversaturate. And I'm spraying it on the scalp because this Kangen Beauty water detangles. This is my number one detangle. This is all I use to detangle my hair. And then I'm able to just pull it apart without, again, ripping out any hairs. So making sure everything is smoothed out. There's no knots, no tangles. And like I said, my hair is quickly drying, so I've got to go through and get all of this done before I close my eyes and go to sleep. So if I find any little, you know, hairs that just kind of need to be pulled apart, I just do it that way and make sure I hit it with my Kangen Beauty water. Not tap water, Kangen Beauty water. So you see, I came across just a little gnarly knot and then I just massage the Kangen Beauty water into that knot and then gently pull it apart. And that's it. Now for tonight's product, since I'm not going to put my cactus and fenugreek on, I think I'm gonna wait and do that on Monday because I just really don't feel like doing it tonight. And then now that it's smooth, I still feel the sebum on my scalp, so that's good. And then I'm just gonna twist it. Now twist, making sure that the cuticles don't fly with hairs, any loose hairs are just, just kind of gently removed. Yeah. All right, so hair has been retwisted, and I mean, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for the rest of my hair. And then I'm gonna take some of my hair and body balm, my DIY little hair balm. I don't use shea butter, because shea butter is just too heavy for some reason on my hair type and it leaves a, a film, a nasty film. And no, it's not my sebum because I don't put the butter on my scalp. So that's how I moisturize and keep the ends of my hair uh, moisturized. I seal with my hair body balm and that's it. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these and uh, call it a night. Um, I'm gonna do my banding method, which I showed you on Monday so that I can stretch it because as you can see you know once that dries it's going to shrink up and I plan on wearing my hair in my twist for the weekend okay so again quick video don't want to take up too much of your time I know it's Friday night people have things to do but I just wanted to show you what I'm doing for my hair tonight um, because I'm water rinsing three times a week it's warm outside my hair, my curls love it. My hair feels super soft um, and it's growing. This particular method, I found it interesting when I did the research, so I don't jump on any bandwagon without doing research. So I would strongly encourage you to do your research. Um, everybody, there are people that do the water only washing method a little differently. I try to stick to it um, as best I can. I modify it to accommodate my lifestyle. All right, so I still use the board bristle brush. I'm just not using it tonight. And since I'm not, I'm sealing with my hair balm because of the fact that I'm not distributing the sebum. That's the only reason why I'm switching up tonight because it's late and um, I just need to, you know, retwist it before it completely dries and then just seal my ends. And then I will resume doing it the correct way um, on Monday. So I'll water rinse again on Monday. Sunday's gonna be my actual hair spa day. So Sunday's gonna be the day that I'm clarifying. I mean, I get it in there and cleaning my scalp. I do my deep conditioning and I apply a leave-in. It's the other methods that I implore or I implement that is increasing my hair growth. Keeping it hydrated, number one. Um, doing scalp massages, number two. Keeping the ends trimmed and keeping it in a protective style. Those are my four healthy hair habits. So, and I'll cover that in another video. So. That's all I have for now. I don't want to bore you with going through here and retwisting that, but I did want to pop in and say I did do my water rinse for this week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you want to see that each week, I'll be more than happy to make a video for you. If not, no worries. Um, if there's something in particular that you want to see, drop me a message. Drop me a comment. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Um, and in the meantime, that's all for now. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for returning to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. And again, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. All right, that's my time for now. I enjoyed sharing this video with you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, and don't forget, healthy hair habits start now.